Hey everyone and welcome back to japansauce.net. Today I have another Naruto technique to discuss. Izanagi. I'm going to reveal the real Japanese mythology behind this forbidden ninjutsu. So let's get started. As a starting point, we need to know more about Izanagi's technique. Izanagi is a kinjutsu, or a forbidden technique, used by members of the Uchiha clan. It is based on the creation of all things technique used by the Sage of Six Paths to turn his imagination into reality. And this was how the Sage of Six Paths created the Tailed Beasts. As descendants of the Sage of Six Paths, the Uchiha are able to use Izanagi with their Sharingan, and it allows them to turn wounds and even their own death into nothing more than a dream. So for a short time, they get to decide what is real and what is not. However, it comes with a heavy price as the user will go blind in the eye that uses Izanagi. But as Madara learned, awakening the Renegan will bring sight back to that eye. Those seen using the Izanagi in the manga include Danzo Shimura, who received implants of multiple Uchiha Sharingan and Senju genetic material with Orochimaru's help. Danzo rewrote his death several times in the fight with Sasuke but ultimately lost. Obito also uses Izanagi during his fight with Konan, and since he is an actual Uchiha and had Senju DNA implanted into him, he was able to use it for a much longer time. Madara Uchiha also used Izanagi to bring himself back to life after his death at the hands of Hashirama Senju in their epic fight. Now what about the Japanese mythology behind it? Well, Izanagi was one of the creator gods in Japanese mythology. Along with Izanami, they used a jeweled spear, Ameno Nuhoko, to turn the watery chaos on earth at that time, and they created an island named Onogoro. They married and Izanami birthed various islands of Japan. Izanami proceeded to birth gods, but died giving birth to Kagotsuchi, the god of fire. Izanagi then traveled to Yomi, the land of the dead, to try and get Izanami back. But Izanami had already eaten the food in Yomi and could not return. However, Izanami was allowed an exception if Izanagi could wait until leaving Yomi to see her face. Izanagi broke his promise and saw Izanami, who was nothing more than a corpse by that time. Frightened by this, Izanagi ran away and closed the gates of Yomi with a big boulder. When he returns from Yomi, Izanagi decides to cleanse himself in the river. When he washed his left eye, the god Amaterasu was born. When he cleaned his right eye, the god Tsukuyomi was born. And when he cleaned his nose, Susanu was born. As you can see, Izanagi created many things as a god, much like the Sage of Six Paths did when he used his creation of all things technique. Likewise, the Izanagi Jutsu allows the user to create a reality that saves them from death. The correlation between the Izanagi Jutsu and Japanese mythology is really a fun thing to see. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more about Japan, its culture, and the other fun things going on there, please stop by our website, www.japansauce.net. 